Hello viewers, I am Nilutpal. Welcome to my channel, UG Economics. Today I will discuss how to determine the impact of subsidy or tax on equilibrium output, price and profit of the producer. And basically, I will be dealing with the unconstrained optimization technique. Uh, let us discuss impact of subsidy on equilibrium output, price and profit first. Here, equilibrium output means profit maximizing output. And we know that to find out profit maximizing output, we need the profit function. So the profit function is pi is equal to total revenue minus total cost. If there is no subsidy or no tax, then we need to follow the necessary and sufficient condition of profit maximization. The necessary condition of profit maximization is d pi by dq is equal to zero. That means we'll have to differentiate the profit function with respect to q and make it equal to zero. And the second order or the sufficient condition is d square pi by dq square is less than zero. That means we will have to go for second order differentiation of the profit function with respect to quantity and value of this second order differentiation must be negative in case of a profit maximization problem. So this necessary condition will give you the value of q and then you will have to test it whether that value of q satisfies the sufficient condition or not. If this sufficient condition is satisfied, then that value of Q is the profit maximizing level of output of the producer. And after getting the value of Q, the learners can calculate the equilibrium price as well as maximum profit of the producer. Let us assume government is providing subsidy to the producers. Then the profit function will change. The profit function will be TR minus TC plus subsidy. Because subsidy is a gain for the producer, so we add it in the profit function. Again, let us assume a subsidy of rupees 4 per unit of output is given by the government to the producer. So uh, the total subsidy will be 4q. So our profit function will be pi dash is equal to tr minus tc plus 4q. Then we will have to follow the necessary and sufficient condition of profit maximization. And this necessary condition will give you the value of q. Then you will have to test it uh, whether that value of q satisfy the sufficient condition or not if satisfied then that value of q is the profit maximizing level of output of the producer then after getting the value of q we can calculate the equilibrium price maximum profit after subsidy now let us assume we are given a total revenue function tr is equal to 160 q minus q square and total cost tc is equal to 200 plus 4 q plus 7 q square and a subsidy of rupees 4 per unit of output is provided by the government. So we will have to find out the profit maximizing output, equilibrium price and maximum profit. So our profit function will be pi des, that is profit with subsidy is equal to tr minus tc plus subsidy. Then we substitute the given tr function and tc function and then the value of subsidy. So the profit function with subsidy is equal to 160q minus 8q square plus 200. Then to find out the profit maximizing output, we'll have to uh, go for the first order condition, that is the necessary condition, as well as the sufficient condition of profit maximization. After fulfillment of these two conditions, we will able to get the profit maximizing output, Q, equilibrium price, and maximum profit. To know the impact of subsidy on profit maximizing output, uh, equilibrium price and maximum profit, we will have to do the same thing when there is no subsidy. This is the same total revenue and total cost function. And then we will have to find out profit maximizing output, equilibrium price and maximum profit. So in this case, since there is no subsidy, so the profit function is equal to TR minus TC. And then we substitute the TR function as well as the TC function. And our profit function without subsidy is equal to 156 minus 8q square minus 200. Then we will have to apply this uh, first order as well as the second order condition of profit maximization. And after applying this, you will get the value of q. That means the profit maximizing output when there is no subsidy. And with that value of q, you will get the equilibrium price and maximum profit also. Then you will have to compare. The profit maximizing output with subsidy and profit maximizing output without subsidy, equilibrium price with subsidy and equilibrium price without subsidy, maximum profit 
with subsidy and maximum profit without subsidy. This is how you can see the impact of subsidy on equilibrium output, price and profit. Now, impact of tax on equilibrium output, price and profit. If tax is imposed on the producer by the government, then profit function changes. So our profit function, pi star, after the imposition of tax is tr minus tc minus tax. And if a tax is imposed at the rate of rupees 5 per unit of output, then our total tax is 5q. So our new profit function after the imposition of tax is tr minus tc minus 5q. Then we will have to apply this first order as well as the second order conditions of profit maximizations, which will give you the value of profit maximizing output, equilibrium price and maximum profit after tax. And then you will have to compare these values when there is no tax imposed on the producer. This is how you can show the impact of tax on equilibrium output, price and profit. I request you to watch my previous videos to know the detailed process of using unconstrained optimization technique in economics and also subscribe my channel to get notification on my new videos and I thank you all for watching my video.